Yo, what's going on? I'm Rob. Hey, this is Carl. We're from Icom Labs. How you doing? We got Captain Scaredy Pants down there. Don't film Captain Scaredy Pants. We're gonna go in the uh, we're gonna go to 23 Street Studios right now. This is where we're partnering with to do a lot of our audio testing. Come on in. Come on in. We do a lot of uh, verifications with this. It's a very important tool for us. All right, let's go on in here. You want to see the bathroom? <laughs> okay, no, no bathroom. <laughs> Just so he's going to rename nameless right now, but Captain Scaredy Pants in the future is going to give you like an excellent explanation of what actually can happen magically with one of these devices and how this correlates to like some of the modern IoT devices. But um, that's in the future. He's not really Captain Scaredy Pants. I just like saying that. Seems like a fun name though, right? Doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he's in the back signaling that I'm number one right now, by the way. Really expensive microphone one, because we're very technical. This is what we're going to use to do some frequency response measurements in a little while. All right, so control room. Yeah, so this is awesome. Really smart, guys. How about you say hello? Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Good. John, John Gabriel. Gabriel. They run this magical place. This is, uh, this is the place. It's magical. I like the board, just because it's cool. It's pretty. It is amazing. Amazing. It is amazing. Look at this. And later I heard they're gonna like demo some Dave Matthews that they didn't record here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay. He won't. He, he, we can't put him on tape right now for we haven't got all our disclosures signed, but he's in there juggling. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> I walk around the corner. There's no prompting this. Your shit is juggling. <laughs> and I thought you were just like a smart audio guy. You juggle? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, we don't know why he just clapped really loud, but he just clapped really loud. So. So again, this is Carl and Rob. We're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna videotape today, pairing an Alexa with a sub. This is their new little system. Like so, it's two two Alexas, one sub. And we're gonna see how that works. We're gonna put it on camera. Sure. Then a little while later, we're gonna walk around the corner and we're gonna take some uh, measurements to see what the frequency response is from this thing. Right. All right, let's go. All right, so let's start by unboxing the. Okay, you gotta Echo. smell it too, though, right? With the... Yeah. You gotta smell the electronics. I love the new the smell. electronics. New box. New box. New electronics. I mean, that that's nearly better than actually using the thing. So. Good start. He's uh he's able to open it, ladies and gentlemen. We're there. There we go. I was betting against you. Wow, this is pretty nice. Here, I'll open one. It's pretty nice, even he says. Like, yeah. okay, so this is not a promotional video for Amazon. They have nothing to do with what we're doing. We bought these at the store. It is not. This is um, yes. By the way, so I was thinking about we should start talking about sponsorship. So I drink a a, a ton of this every day. So uh, Mr. Pete's, if you're watching, Mycom Labs is not uh, adverse to a sponsorship with Pete's because I'm kind of powered by it. I like uh, Adidas shoes. Can't go wrong with the shell toes. Right, you gotta have some Adidas. Yep. I think they're pretty cool. I'm a little probably slightly too old to be learning these because I see a lot of the kids walking around with these, but I don't give a damn. All right, let's start. All right. All right. All right. All right, so we've got the two stereo speakers now all on the same side of the sub because, you know, we got it planned out. Yep. That was a joke. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we got the Alexa app on the phone. Ooh, that's how you know it's working. Look at the beautiful tone. Oh. There it is. Hello. Your Amazon Echo is ready for setup. Wait. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. All right. All right. Just going to add a device on the Alexa app. Here we go. Hello. Your Amazon Echo is ready for setup. Just They're... follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Both... All right. Got them to pair the two Echoes and the sub. Um, it's all set up. So, Alexa, play Dave Matthews. Shuffling songs by Dave Matthews on Amazon Music. Hey. Is that thing working? Yeah, I feel about it. Yep. Right. No shit. We did it, guys. We did it. Well, he did it. I sat here. All right, turn it, turn it up a bunch. Let's see what it is. Alexa, set the volume to seven. It's not bad. That sounds pretty decent. But there you have it. It worked. All right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to, we've got the Alexa set up in here. We got kind of a fancy microphone going here. We are, uh, you know, we're near fieldish, about 50 centimeters away per uh, per the unnameable one in there. With his fanciness, right? So anyway, about 50 meters away. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play a song through this, so it's not all really scientific and all that before you send us hate mail or anything stupid. The the, the name of one in there is extremely scientific, and he's letting us get away with it. So just take a chill, and we'll just see what happens here. Stream a song. Let it, let it play for a little while, and we're going to go in there, we're going to film the audio analyzer, and we're going to look at what the overall spectrum got, where are we getting noise, and where are we falling off at. 
It's just out of curiosity, kind of see the overall quality and response of this. So here we go. All right, so here we're in the studio. We've got the same song running from in there. We're trying to look at the frequency response. So um, the unnameable one is gonna speak from behind the camera and tell you what we're actually looking at. So don't point the camera at him, but take it away, please. Yeah, you're doing response all the way through 18K or so. That's amazing, actually, right? Yeah. What did we predict? I, so I, I said 9K max, and you said what? Um, I said 10 or 12. And we're getting response up to 15 to 8, or 16 to 18 or so before it starts dropping off back into noise. Let's give it a pretty good well done, but it, actually it does have a bunch of dips, right, where you predicted, right? Yeah. And the, the big thing here that, I, that impresses me, high-end response is actually really, really easy. Um, you know, a, a 25 cent speaker can get high-end response. But getting that low end response down under 50 or 40 hertz, actually surprising to me. And we're seeing that last column yeah. moving at about 20 hertz. So I'd say your drop off is probably Pretty good. 24, 25 hertz. Pretty good. That's, that's what it's rated at um, on the official Amazon uh, spec sheet. It's rated at 30 hertz at the lowest you can go. All right. So that's, we're gonna... that's actually the least likely scenario that I've ever heard is that the manufacturer published a spec that is actually showing up in the alley. Right. We're going to give this an official well done. All right, so we're back, we're just done. You probably saw some of the spectrum analysis we did. We got uh, the unnameable one in the background kind of explaining it. So Carl and I are just kind of finishing up, wrapping up here, it looks like it was a good day. We actually ended up getting it to pair really well. The frequency response was, I'd say, better than we expected, right? Yep. Definitely. I mean, and especially if you take into consideration like, you know, the, the, the price point, mm -hmm. it's a super fair deal. You get, you get good sound quality, full spectrum. I mean, reasonably easy to set up. I think we had a couple of little hiccups here and there, but it, but it went pretty well. Yep. So I think now the next thing is we're gonna do another one. Maybe we'll pick another manufacturer. And uh, we'll continue like working with 25th Street Studios. One, because it's cool as shit. So everybody go look at 25thstreetrecording.com is the name of the place. So if you got a record to record, this is the house. We got to tip our hat to Fantasy Studios going away. It makes me cry, but they did. So this is the place in town to come. So we want to say thank you to Ubiquity Marketing in the background. He's going to change his name in a little while, but what the hell. Rich Hammer, Ubiquity Marketing. We got Carl and myself from MyCom. We got the unnameable one comes in as the unnameable one. Uh, what else? Who else? Are we supposed to say thank. Adi don't forget Adidas shoes. We gotta get get me some Adidas. I like these. Carl needs Adidas. I don't know what's going on with those shoes. Yep. I mean, they're I guess they're fashionable, but he, I think he needs some Adidas. <laughs> we had matching Adidas. Better. All right. Anything to add? Yep. Uh, shout out to John and Gabriel, and also David. David. Yes, right. absolutely. John Gabriel, Twenty Fifth Street Studios. David hooked us up. That's it. Yep. Thank Sweet. you guys so much.